Ladies and gentlemen, what's poppin'? It's your boy Sim, and I'm with my man Tony Crow. And yes, we are going to break down episode seven of Snowfall. Tony, what's poppin' with you, my brother? How are you feeling? What's good, Sim? Shout out to you. Shout out to the chat. I'm good, man. It's late, but we here. It's late, man. But you know, we here. You know, trying to trying to be consistent, trying to get it done. Um. So we here, we are here. Your thoughts? Well, I guess just your quick thoughts on the episode. I know my quick, it's my quick thought at the end of the episode was, "This is the quiet before the storm." That's how I felt about this episode. It's the quiet before the storm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every episode, as we get closer to the end, I, I, I get sad because I really, I really love this show. Knowing yeah. this is the uh the last season, and and that's a great uh that's a, I like the way you worded that. But... Uh, I lost you, Tone. Oh my bad. It wasn't too much action or anything, at, um in this episode. But you know, it's about to. You know what I mean? It's no. about to really climax. Right. What was it? Two episodes left. Yeah, two, three episodes. This three is episodes. Left? Episode. Should be three episodes. Eight, yeah. nine, ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and, and things are beginning to align that you know that that's going to create an explosion. I mean, we're going to get to that, but let's just let's start with the title of the episode, Charnel House. That's the title of the episode, and a charnel house, ladies and gentlemen, is a house where skeletons are stored. Right, a house uh, where human skeletons are stored, and is normally used as a metaphor to refer to any place that's filled with death. In this episode, it seems like there's death all around, not just Jerome, but um, in multiple places. Right throughout this episode, you know what I mean. Uh, I think there's death in multiple places and, and metaphorically uh, death, right? I mean, you can look at, let's begin with, let's begin with Sissy and, and just talking about where death occurs with Sissy. Obviously, Jerome died, her brother. Her husband died and all of this that's going on. And now even her love for working at that shelter is dot is gone is dead right uh you know she tells uh leon's wife you know you need a place because she's leaving she's like you know i can't stay in the pjs anymore i'm out of here she tells here you you can go there you can you can work there you can take my spot there because she can't be there anymore you know what i mean uh you look at louis and jerome's you know, their empty home, you know, filled with reminders of their union. You know, that's death. They, you know, they, their union is 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 gone. You know, um, obviously we talked about Wanda wanting to leave the projects, but the projects ex- itself, you know, there's death all around. You know what I mean? And Leon seems stuck there. You know, we'll, we'll get into that conversation. Um, you know, Franklin, you know, just, I mean, with the way he is, it's almost like he's hollow inside. It's like death is already taking over him. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, uh, it's everywhere. What do you think about that, Tony? Um, I didn't even notice the title till you pointed it out, but you know, once you pointed it out, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's fitting. It's mm-hmm. fitting because it's it's all throughout the episode. It's all throughout the show, in in, in general. Um, and it, it's making me want to go back and start looking at titles and see how they reference reference right. the, the the episodes. So, um, you know, that was a a, a nice little find you you had there. Yeah. You know, uh, and everyone has a reaction to Jerome's death. You know, everyone is handling it in their own in their own way. Louis, you know, in in some ways, I feel like Louis 
feels guilty. Feels like, I don't know if she's going to admit it. She definitely won't admit it to Franklin. But I think she does have some feelings that it's her fault that she got uh, you know, you know, she got herself in that situation and he came to save her. And that if it wasn't for her being there, he wouldn't have been there. You know what I mean? And so I do think she feels some guilt. Uh, and, and you see her going through it in the episode, the beginning of the episode. You see her going through it. You know, she leaves the house uh, and, and she's like, you know, she, she she's in the car. She's speeding. She She's screaming. She's bugging out. And, you know, she drives over to see Scully, right? Just to ask Scully how he handled it when he lost people in his life. You know what I mean? So I do think somewhere along the line, while she does blame Franklin, I think she blames herself a little bit as well. Oh, 100%. 100%. She, she can't, she can't not. And, 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 you know, everything is about the, the, the decisions they, they've all made, right? Right, like she wants to blame, she wants to blame Franklin because it's it's easy, mm-hmm. but I mean she's made decisions that directly that he directly reacted to. You you know what right. I mean? Um, even Jerome's decision, you know, trying to give her 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 space and her time, and taking the um and doing the drop for for, for her. Had she done the drop, she might she probably wouldn't have ever got caught. You, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, and and who knows um how that would have turned out um and then you talk about the the reaction to Jerome's death um it it it, it was so close to actually being um a uniting thing you know i mean you think about it brought everybody back together um in, in, in a sense right um mm-hmm. even even the guy uh the guy that got beat up in the projects, you know what I mean? When when he right. approached him, like, yo, yo, did did, did y'all did get you, him? you know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. so so it's it's just it it could have it's so close to uniting everybody, but the the tension is it's like uh it's it's paper thin, like anything could just break it too. Right. Anything could just break it, you know what I mean? It's you know, it's a lot of tension there. I think, you know, and and Louis, you know, she asked the question, you know. What did I get myself into? What am I into? How did I end up here? Right? She goes and she visits one of her old friends, you know, and and she's kind of reflecting on what happened when she was when she was tied up and and looking, she she looks back at her past, right? And remembers how uh she was sexually abused, her and her friend, right? Sexually abused in the past. And when she, you know, when she breathes or whatever, uh, you know, because of the injuries that she has and she hears it, it reminds her of those days. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's painful because you can only imagine that she probably hasn't even gotten over that trauma. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, it's real trauma. You know what I mean? She probably hasn't even gotten over that. And now she's dealing with, you know, this current situation where she was just about, she was almost raped. And then her husband comes in to save her from being raped and he gets murdered. You know, I mean, it's trauma on top of trauma. You know what I mean, and it, I mean, you can't blame her for being in rage right now, to be honest with you. How can you blame her for it? You know, it, it's, it's hard. I mean, obviously she blames herself for the situation with Jerome, at least partly blames herself, you know, but, the rage that she's experiencing is hard to blame her for that rage. But it's, I don't even think it, it's not even just rage. You know, I don't want to fast forward. We, we'll talk about it at, at the end, but you know, at when she spoke to Franklin at the end, you know, you know what I mean? Like that, uh, that was another point where it could have went either way. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? But, but he decided to answer the way he decides to answer. Yeah. And, and then it's like, Dude, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, man. <laughs> we'll get to that. We, we, we won't get up too soon. We'll get to it. Uh, but speaking of Franklin, though, his reaction to Jerome is to Jerome's death. It's like, you know, you realize Louie, you know, she, she went to see a friend 
Uh, she went to see Scully and asked him how he dealt with it. Franklin doesn't do that stuff. He he keeps it inside, you know. And so you can imagine with everything that Franklin's done, he's 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 keeping it inside. Like he, this dude is is ready to explode at some point. Like really explode. Yeah, when, when he reflects, you know what I mean. When he has that reflection uh, from 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 episode one to where where he is, yeah, he gonna it's it's gonna. It's gonna be an eye opener for him because I yeah. think he's just he's just moving forward. You right. know what I mean? Move forward. All right, I gotta do this to do that. I gotta do this to do that. I gotta do this. He, no, he I, hasn't looked back yet. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he hasn't really looked back. But I think in this episode, maybe you've seen a glimpse of him beginning to look back. Right when you know he woke up out of his sleep, having you know that you know, a nightmare or terror, you know, night terror or whatever, you know, and, and it obviously encompasses Jerome. He couldn't breathe. You know what I'm saying? You know, this could be the beginning of him starting to reflect back and like how him saying to himself, how did I get here? How did I become this person? You know what I mean? Because he's clearly different from the very first episode ever to now. He's very, very different. You know, so Franklin's reaction, you know, his reaction to Jerome's death is, very internalized, um, but also still about business, right? Yeah, he's externally numb. he's numb. Yeah, externally and, and, and internally I, or involuntarily, you know what I mean? He's dealing with it, like you said, in the, in, his, in his dreams, in yeah. his sleep. So it's coming out, but it, it, it's not. Like he wants it to, or or it's by any um, like he he has no control over it. You know what I mean? Like right. it's subconscious. And he's and, and and he's still Leon, right? He's talking to Leon, walking through the projects after he asked Leon for you know half a million, and he, you know he's like, I loved my uncle, I I, I loved Jerome, but he shouldn't have went against me. You know what I'm saying? And Leon's looking at him like, yo, who is this dude? You know what I'm saying? Do I really? Can I really rock with this guy? If he feels like that about Leon, how will he feel about me if something goes down? You know, uh, you know that's that's the face that I saw from Leon. Cause I don't think he knows who who he is right now. It was another uh, eye-opening moment. You know what yeah. I mean? Similar to what we talk about later. Like, right. It's like, you know, uh, and, and and you know, this is this is just who he is right now. Just you know, kind of uh, this stone, this cold dude. You know, and I think I do think in the long run, though, Jerome's death is going to um, Jerome's death. I, th I think is going to get to him, and and uh, other things that he's done and that's happened. I believe I, I agree with you. I think it's going to get to him at some point. You know what I mean? And, he, and he's going to feel it. Oh. You know, we got three more episodes to find out. And you got Sissy's reaction to, Joan, to Jerome's death. I think she, you know, they showed that she experienced pain. But I think she's just fed up with everything and with everyone. You know what I mean? You know, she's probably witnessed so much death right now that she's a little bit numb to it. And maybe somewhere along the line, she actually expected for Jerome or Franklin or someone close yeah. to her to die. She, she knew it was going to be somebody. You, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and, and that that was her planting the seeds last episode or or maybe two episodes. You know, trying to stop the little wall. Or I can't say little, but stop the wall. You know right. what I mean? Like, that's that's my son, your nephew. You, you, you know what I mean? Um, or... That's your uncle, my brother. Right. Um, yeah, I got to chill. She knew it was coming. Yeah, she knew it was coming somewhere, somehow. She knew it was coming. But now, you know, she's kind of, she's a little bit cold. You know what I mean? You know, one thing that stood out to me is she was allowed to go see her brother immediately. Mm -hmm. where, where um where um what's the name was not 
Louis uh, wasn't. Louis right. Louis was not. Um, right. That right. that was one thing that definitely stood out to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's crazy because Louis. I mean, that's that's her husband. You know, and they're like, no, you're gonna have to wait here. You're gonna have to wait here while they're taking him back. You know, that's. I mean, that's enough to throw somebody over the top right there. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was gonna. I thought it was gonna cause something, but you know, what I mean, obviously they didn't dive deep into that that angle. Yeah. But I was like, uh oh, she right. about to. You know what I mean? She about, about to lose that. it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um. But yeah, sissy is kind of. She's I, she's fed up with everything. You know what I mean? With with everything and everyone, she's fed up with this whole. You know, the whole lifestyle with the government everything you know what i mean and i don't know where it's leading her to though i don't know where it's leading her it's leading her somewhere uh she, she's gonna be a big factor in whatever happens in the remainder of this series in my opinion i don't i don't know where it's leading her but it's leading her somewhere i mean she's she's always kind of been like everything she's done already is really set everything in into motion as far as like the 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 undercover dude um that's that's watching teddy and and that's been infiltrating you know what i mean the wedding and all that um e- e- even um the guilt for for her um her husband's death you, you know what i mean thinking they they were safe um going to cuba but even how all that transpired you you, you know what i mean like um it, it, it's just it's crazy like she got a lot she got a lot to deal with you know what i mean coming from like you said last week um getting her feet in into the business you, you, you know what i mean and making that call from 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 what nothing to do with it to actually helping franklin right so it's a, it's a lot yeah it's a lot it's a lot and i don't know if she's uh is she going to continue to help Franklin? Do you think? I think she'll do anything if she thinks it's going to keep him alive. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Agree but with that. but it may like because it may not be the right thing. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. she because that's kind of been the the trend she's been doing. Like she's doing things to what she's feeling like to help. But it may not necessarily be helping. It may be a hinder. It may actually be helping somebody else. Somebody else. You know what I mean? Right. And, and she has she's none the wiser. Yeah. Yeah. Um we'll see. Quiet money. What's popping with you, my brother? Thank you for being here uh with us. You know what I mean? You know, whatever you need to say, whatever whatever your thoughts are, put them in the chat. We'll throw them up there on the screen. All right, we appreciate you. Uh, now let's start. Now is where we start to see things start to, you know, when we talk about the quiet before the storm. With this episode, now you know we start to see things tie together, right? Or uh, or, or or that you know is going to lead to some. It's going to lead to something big. Franklin gets in touch with Gustavo, right? Um, Franklin calls him also, right? And Gustavo also, whatever, explains to him that, you know, DEA has been in touch with him, looking for Teddy. They were also looking for information about Franklin, but, you know, he didn't give him anything on Franklin. But, you know, he was forced to do, you know, whatever with Teddy. And and they had this whole discussion about the KGB and Teddy and all of that. You know what I mean? And, And Franklin, you know, being who he is, Soon as he hears it, pulls his gun. Backed out on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you, you know, what are you talking about? Like, this is Franklin's first instinct now. You know what I mean? Uh, but you know, also it's like, you know, he's in situation. You know what I mean? You know, he he's in a situation. He doesn't know where to go, what to do for real. You know what I mean? So them two, they figure. The only way out of this <laughs> is we got to eliminate Teddy, and it has to be quick. Uh, Gustavo, also, he doesn't know where Teddy is. Hadn't heard of, from him in, in a few days. You know what I mean? And and obviously, Franklin doesn't know where he is. I, I like the metaphor that Franklin used. He's, you know, he said he's like a he's like a cat waiting to pounce on a bird. 
and I'm a girl. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You know? Um, but so you got them looking for Teddy, right? Because I think Franklin is gonna help also get out of there because the dude came to visit also in his family. Yeah, right? I think that's what the five hundred K was for, right? Um because it the, he's supposed to be giving Gustavo some money so money. he could leave. Right. The money is, I think it was supposed to be a million. He said, he said, I could only get you a million. It was, it was really supposed to be more than that. Yeah. And, right. and, 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 um, Franklin keeps going low. Yeah. You know I mean? He, he said, I could only get you a million. Now, now it's 500,000. Um, right. But, and, and, but, and but Gustavo got no choice. Right. And that's what the money is for from Leon. Like you said. Yeah. And, you know, Gustavo is, you know, yeah, he doesn't have a choice. And, you know, he wants to make sure that his family is safe. He needs to, um, he's trying to get out of there because his wife or girlfriend or whoever she is, you know, she's, she's basically like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. And it may be safer if you don't know where we are. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he's trying to get up out of there. Uh, Franklin's going to help him if he can help him find Teddy. So they're on the lookout for Teddy. Right? Trying to find Teddy. Um, and and kinda... Gustavo's supposed to be setting Teddy up. Um, they want him to move the drugs to the warehouse so they could bust Teddy in the warehouse with the drugs. They're trying to get the drugs and Teddy in the same spot. Right. They're trying to have Gustavo pretty much orchestrate that or or at least get the drugs in the spot that they know Teddy's going to be so mm -hmm. so they ended up being in the, in the same spot so it's a, it's a lot of things going on like Gustavo he's he, he's kind of like a a triple agent in in a sense but but um not by choice you, you know right. what i mean like right. you know, he, he's working with uh right. Franklin he's working with the DA he's working with the uh with the uh the Russian dude or KGB dude, whatever he is. Yeah, so, KGB dude. And he's still kind of working with Teddy. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so it's and like, the, and it, yeah, and then you know the CIA is obviously involved and they they might be on the like kind of like, you know, maybe we not maybe maybe we need to let Teddy do his thing or whatever, you know, cut ties or something with Teddy. You know, at least the one dude is kind of like, you know, who knows what's going on with Teddy right now. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of things circling together right now. Right? And then now, Teddy, he's he's been trying to get in touch with Louie, not knowing that Jerome died. Right? So, you know, she hasn't been answering her her, her beeper when, when he calls. Finally, she decides to call him back. She's in the bathtub. Right? <laughs> quiet money. I don't like Louie. I blame her for everything. Uh, I mean, she, she obviously played a big part in everything. No doubt about that. But she's in the bathtub. Beeper goes off. You know, she, you know, her, her friend is in there consoling her or whatever. And, you know, finally she's like, okay, let me answer the call. She answer, She answers the call. They decide that they're going to meet up at 3 o'clock at, you know, that little restaurant over there. Forgot the name of it. No, no, no. She she decided. He decided. He's like, he's he, like he, I need you now. Right. And she's like, I'll be there at three um, three oh five at the restaurant. Right. And right. Right. Like, <laughs> and he, you know, he got the you know the dumb look that he always has on his face, like, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? No. <laughs> you know, always got that. That, kind of that was pretty you know. good, sir. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> you know, always, um. So they meet over there at the restaurant and basically, well, he didn't know Jerome was dead, but he tells her, I need you to help me get Franklin. I need to know yeah. where Franklin is. And she's basically telling him, um, I can't, we're not on good terms. You know what I mean? Like, right. When I speak, so I don't know where he after is. The, but then she's like, after the funeral, you know what I mean? Yeah. I see what I could do, basically. Yeah. Yeah, you know, she she was like, after the funeral, I'll do whatever you want. I'll cut him from head to toe, whatever she said. You know what I mean? Uh, so it seems as though, seems as though, 
And she might have an upper hand. She she may have some cards to play, but it seems as though she is going to work with Teddy, at least at this point, work with Teddy to help him find Franklin after the funeral. Right? That, yeah. That's what it seems like up to that point. But but she may she may have some cards to play, though. Right? Uh, so I guess we'll talk about that in a second. But then you have the funeral. Okay, so just remember now, Franklin and Gustavo is looking for Teddy. Teddy and Louis are going to be trying to get Franklin. Okay, so just remember that right now. And then you have, now the, now you got the funeral. All right, which uh, is held held in a park. Uh, you know, all, all of your, you know, all of the, the, the players there. You know what I mean? And and I was actually surprised. I was all in my mind. Obviously, we knew that Louis was gonna be there. We knew Sissy was gonna be there. Why would they go after him there? And you know, and Franklin was there, and I and, and I'm like, yo, something is going something's gonna happen. That's what I th- everybody's there. It's, it's like <laughs> there. something somewhere is gonna happen, you know what I mean? Um, but it didn't. You know, it, you know, the funeral was kind of I think that shows the respect people have for Jerome more than anything else. That's true. That that that's real true, right? Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. yeah, real real true. Uh, you know, and and you know some some touching scenes there. You know, Sissy and Louie, they kind of share like a, you know, they stare to each other. You know what I mean? No words exchanged, just a stare. You know, because I guess they feel each other's pain. They did have a conversation <laughs> earlier in the, in the episode. And- and they know where each other stands, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, <laughs> you know right. What I mean? right. They know where each other stands. Uh, I guess the major part of the scene, the funeral. You know, after everybody pays their respects to Jerome and and to Louis and all of that, I think the um, major part now is when Louis and Franklin talk at the funeral. What you want from me, Auntie? Yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? That that's what he says. What you want? You know, he's got he's got his glasses, shades on, you know, looking real uh terminator like. You know, <laughs> you know what you want from me, Auntie. You know what I mean? Um the fact the first thing when I heard him say that, the first thing that popped in my mind is he still called her auntie. Even through all of this, to me that means that means something to me. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I know maybe it doesn't to Franklin, but at some point, if if you really dislike someone, you may not call them auntie because that's more of a term of to, endearment. But endearment I, so I thought he was using it um, for like, what's the word? Yeah, facetiously. Okay. okay, you know what I mean. I thought you know what I mean. Cause even even when he said it, I'm thinking like, all right, why he said that? Not not just auntie, but why did he say what what do you want from me? You know what I mean? He could have said, how can we fix this? How can we get right? You know what I mean? How can we like get past this? Like, so what do you want from me? It, it made me it made me question even okay. You know what I mean? Like the the. Vel- like what? What is he? What is he trying to say? It and then as the conversation went on, I'm just, you know, what I mean, it's yeah, it's making a little bit more sense, right? And because he had the opportunity, he had the opportunity when she, you know, she asked him, "Why did you come back for me?" Right? He had the opportunity right there. I felt at that moment there was mm-hmm. this moment right there where he had the opportunity to probably kill everything Not- between them. Cause he said, matter of fact, he said, "Oh, cause I respect women. I was raised, you know, oh, it's a right. women, women." And then, and then she was like, "Is that all?" Right. So, so she could have left it alone too. <laughs> you, 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 you know what I mean? But I think his, res- I think his response again, it, it, it sounds sincere. It right. sounds like you know what I mean, right? You know, but it's it's like it's almost to to me, it was almost like. He wanted to say something, 
maybe a little more emotional, but couldn't bring himself to do it. Just do it. Okay. I feel like at that moment, okay. he could have said, I came back because I love you. Yeah. We right? family. We family. I love you. That's why I came back and I couldn't live with myself. Right. And I think that right there could have, and I feel like maybe she was looking for that. Mm -hmm. Right. And that right there could have maybe. But well, even still, he 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 didn't put it on himself. That's what he said because he was like, "I came back because for Jerome." You know what I mean? Like Jerome, right. I didn't want to see Jerome go go through losing you, Bob. You know what I mean? So he didn't put it on any mm -hmm. personal feelings, personal yeah. emotion. Right? You know what I mean? It was about Jerome. It was about oh, uh, you no. being a woman. You know what I right. mean? Like right. It, it it wasn't about his personal feelings for her. And, and, and I think that's so. Maybe she was looking for something more personal when Look she said, "Is is is that it?" But at the same time, she opened the door for his response. I think I feel like his response when she said, "Is that it?" She knew that she that he was going to say something that didn't have to do with emotion. That had to do with the game, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel like if he would have said, you know. Cause I love you, da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Then she might have accepted that, right? But when he said it, when he said that, I think she could kind of feel too, like okay, he's there's there's more to it. He he's business minded for the reasons that he's asking me this. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And I also feel like it was her also testing, like his response is going to determine whether or not I work with Teddy. Mm. I think that could have been part of it. You know, if I get the response from him that we can repair this and we can patch this up, then I won't work with Teddy. But if I get the response from him that he don't care and he's out for, to get his, then he just wants Teddy. Because he, because he said, and then what you said in the warehouse. Exactly. Exactly. He said, you promised me something and you owe me something or whatever he said, you know, and that was that she can get a hold of yeah. Teddy. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That, that she called him the devil. And he said, I know. He said, I know. I am. You know what I mean? But that's another, that's another clue though, Tony. Like you were saying earlier, you know, that he's eventually he might eventually start to uh reflect back. Mm -hmm. Like I think that's a part of him reflecting, kind of like he knows it. He knows that, yeah. I'm the devil. I did some bad. I, I've done some bad stuff. You know what I'm saying? And and I am the devil. I think that's part of him, you know, just realizing who he is right now. You know what I mean? Um, but, I, you know, so, so now, though, you have this whole tangled web where Gustavo and Franklin are looking for Teddy. Teddy's trying to get Louie to help him find Franklin and now Franklin wants Louis to help him find Teddy. So Louis is kind of a a key figure in this whole thing and she may be trying to do you remember the you remember the movie Fresh? Mm -hmm. The kid who was, you know, mm -hmm. he played chess and so he was mm -hmm. using the, you know, the, the the rival gangs to uh you know he was playing chess to make them fight with each other. Mm -hmm. I can see Louie playing that role right now because of the way she's in the middle uh, between Teddy and Franklin. My thing is, how can he even trust her? He can't. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, how is he going to be that blinded in his in his uh, attempt to get to Teddy that he trusts her after she just? You just had this exchange with her. You know what I mean? You told her you still want the information. She called you the devil. You said you obliged. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, I don't understand how, how he could trust her. I, I, how he could fall for trusting her. Trust. So, so I, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, it is. And then, and then if something... If something end up happening happening to her then Jerome dying is all for nothing 
Because right. he like like you know like Quiet Money said he could have just left it there. Right. If, if something ends up happening to her, especially by his hands, right. he could have just left it there and, and still had his uncle, <laughs> his blood. Yeah, I think I think them two would have. I think something would have popped off between them two because Jerome would have felt like just like mm. before Jerome went there, you know, he pulled a piece on him and you know where's Louis, you know True. where is she at. You know, so if he would have left her there, somehow them two might have still clashed. I think. Um, I mean, or he, or I mean, because remember, he was also ready to get out too. Yeah, he was ready to get so, out. Yeah, but Louis in the middle. You know what I mean? Louis, Louis in the middle right now. Now, D. Coolis, uh, D. Coolis says he thinks Franklin will end up working with her again. And Quiet Money is like Franklin <laughs> definitely not working with Louis again, <laughs> right? Um, I don't know. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it's hard to say. At some point, they at some point they may. Well, see, it, it depends on what she wants to do. Is she trying to stay in the game still? If so, Ted is her connect. Right? <coughs> Try and get out the game. Pardon me. You know what I mean? Um so, you know, I think a lot is going to depend on what she's trying to do, too. I feel like I, I I can't even see her staying in the game. Like, it's funny because that last conversation she had with Jerome, where she, conf- you know what I mean? He he said, I only did all this for you, da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. And she, she talked about how this whole time she didn't feel powerful you know what i mean she didn't feel right. like like she right. was getting the respect out there that 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 she, like basically the respect was all on, on off of him rather than her you know what i mean right so it's gonna be t- she could go either way she could realize i'm not as strong out here without him here or she could be like, "Oh, I gotta prove that I am that I am that chick out here." You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. W- with with him, I mean, without him or or with him, yeah, I thought it was him, but it was me. You know what I mean? Like, she could she could take that route, or she could realize, like, "Oh, I wasn't that strong out here." Um, yeah, my defense was based off of him, right? It, it, it's it's going to be interesting to see which way she goes. Again, she's in the middle. And, you know, she she might hold the cards. You know what I mean? She might just hold the cards to everything because she's right in the middle. She's right in the middle. She she can easily right now play, find a way to play Teddy and Franklin. You know what I mean? And if somehow, I mean, I don't think Sissy would double cross Franklin, but if somehow Sissy and and Louie got together, you know, they, I don't know. Leon's gonna be involved in some stuff. Frank, Franklin would have to do something real bad in either in front of his mother or or you know what I mean like his his sissy would have to be like, you know what, Franklin, you the devil. Like she would have to come to that realization. I think for like I gotta get my son off the street. You know what I mean? I gotta I gotta stop stop him. Which ain't far fetched, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> It ain't far fetched to see her witnessing him do something, or 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 realizing the destruction he's had, um, long term, and be and being like, you know what, I gotta get my son off, off, off the street. Yeah, and then you know a couple of a couple of side stories that are going on right now, like Leon. You know what I mean? Uh, you know his his, his wife is tired of everything that's going on, you know, obviously both of them were trying to change over a new leaf. You know what I mean? And, you know, she wanted to go back to Africa. You know, he, he wanted to stay and try to fix whatever he feel, felt like he could fix. You know what I mean? But he's kind of at a crossroads right now because his wife is like, you know, I'm not trying to deal with this. And, you know, he's still trying to, you know, just just give me a little bit, a little bit more time. 
But if he keeps dealing with Franklin, he's going to get roped in real deep with everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's going to get roped in real deep. And maybe when he when when Franklin said to him, yeah, I love Jerome, but he shouldn't have went against me. Maybe Leon realized, oh, you know what? You know, this this ain't the same guy. Maybe I don't want to get involved with this. But if he's giving him 500K, you know, it, it, unless he don't want the money back. <laughs> I was I was gonna say, I was gonna say if you don't give him the five hundred k, then you cross him right. <laughs> so so you you kind you know what I mean you kind of get you kind of don't right, got no right. choice like you know like, so it's one of those yeah. it's like what they call it friendly extortion you know what I mean like, yeah so you got the whole thing going on can Leon you know can, you know can and will Leon get out the game. Right. You know, you got that going on, you know, you know, kind of lurking in the background. And what's his role going to be when everything is said and done? Right. Uh, and then you still got what, you, you know, you not believe, you know, it is brewing somewhere that Franklin's mother-in-law is going to try to steal from yeah. Franklin. Yeah. You know, and, and well, Franklin's mother-in-law uh, convinced his wife to say, "Hey, let's you know, let's get out of here." You know, um, so that's still kind of lurking in the background as you know another storyline. I, I believe, I think. Th then we got um, Teddy's baby mom and, and Teddy's baby, yeah, coming, coming, and, and basically calling him, calling him out, like, "Yo." Give Franklin his money back. You, right. you know what I mean? Um, you need to fix this. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you're playing all sides. You know what I mean? Like you're not really safe in, in the CIA, or you know what I mean? Like she's she's trying to give him a fair warning, like she was doing in season two. You know what I mean? And and he's not, um, you know, he's not really listening. Yeah. Yeah, quiet money said, "Don't think Leon is making it out of the game. Nah, he's not. I don't think so either. I don't yeah. think he's making it out the season. Nah, yeah, he probably ain't. You know what I mean? So you, so you think Leon? Something's gonna he's he's gonna get killed somehow, some way. I do. You think it's gonna do. be because that he beat up in the projects? Mm -mm. Nope. I think it's either." It's either gonna be protecting Franklin or by Franklin. Mm. It's gonna be painful if it's by Franklin. Yep. It's gonna be yep. Yeah, but I hope I hope your idea is true too. I guess we'll talk about that right right at the closing. Yeah. You know. Um a lot of things that can happen, man. A lot of things that can happen. It's going to, I mean, it's all going to come to a head in about three more episodes. And that'll be the final, you know, episode 10, obviously, will be the final episode. I'm hoping it's a long episode. Right? That'd be nice. But then the question that you were just talking about, will there possibly be a Snowfall spinoff, a possible Snowfall spinoff? And we're, we're, I mean, where where it is, it's already in early development. Okay. And, and 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 you know, you had you had a thought last week about a spinoff. You know, so when I when I found the little the little article, I sent it right to you because I'm like, oh, you know, oh snap, like Sim might have been onto something. They they say the spinoff is going to be more centered around Wanda. And I'm assuming her taking over the the, the center, okay. but that doesn't leave out the option that Leon. You know what I mean? Like that, either Leon's gonna be gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or he's gonna be in the spinoff. You know what I mean? Like, like right. I can't see him not being uh, written off, and then not being on the spinoff. So either he's gonna be in the Either, if he's alive, I think he'll be in the spinoff. Right. You know what I mean? Because so, that's that's her husband. So 
Yeah. Right. But so, oh. I could also see him dying and then that kind of really centering her into that role mm-hmm. of trying to fix the community, help the community and all that. Right. right. Uh, so the article says, a spinoff of the hit drama series Snowfall is in early stages of development at FX. Sources tell Deadline. Uh, no one would comment, but we hear that if it comes to fruition, the offshoot would potentially star Gail Bean reprising her fan favorite Snowfall character, Wanda. The spinoff is a continuation of the original story set in 1990s Los Angeles as South Central transitions out of the crack era into the gangster rap business with areas heavily infested by gangs led by the Bloods and the Crips. Uh, Wanda would serve as the connective tissue between the original show and the offshoot, which is expected to introduce other main characters, uh, sources tell Deadline. You know, to be honest with you, that's kind of... Because remember, we were talking about how... um, Leon Leon. Mm -hmm. was talking about having a projects council, Mm -hmm. right? A council, you know, in the projects to help govern things that go on in the projects. And then we related that to, well, that's where the Crips come from, right? That's kind of what the Crips mentality was. So now when you hear what, you know, the basis of this spinoff, that's kind of, you know, maybe a little bit, a little bit of, of of what we're talking about, you know. Um, I'm assuming that maybe she is. I don't know. Maybe she's 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 working in in that. Um, you know, she, she's working at the place, and you know all the stuff is going on around her with the Bloods and the Crips and things like that. Yeah, uh, and then I mean, from 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 what you read, it does it doesn't sound like her role will be vital in the series. But she'll be the 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 link between, you know what I mean? Like like she's just kind of like in in there. I don't know if she'll be like a lead because it sounds like it's going to be based more about music industry, uh, yeah, gangster I mean, rap. It, yeah, it said she would potentially star in it. You know, it said Wanda would serve as the connective tissue well between the original show and off. Yeah, I, I can see what you Yeah, so it's thinking. like it's gonna be other main characters. Mm-hmm. She'll be in and out, weaved in, weaved in, but th- that'll be the connector. So mm-hmm. you'll be like, all right, she's the same character from the other show. It's, right. But you know what I mean? She'll be in she probably won't be in every episode. You know what I mean? Like it'll right. just be right. like a, right. a way to recognize, oh, there go Wanda. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, way to recognize it. Um, see, I agree with the coolest. I think the spinoff would be better if it was about Leon. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and 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 his, you know, growth of uh, you know, his projects council and how maybe it turns into game yeah. life. Like I, I, that would be a better spinoff. Maybe he, mm-hmm. maybe he's the rapper. Maybe he's the uh. The the maybe he puts his money into music business instead of drug business. Maybe. So maybe maybe he is maybe, maybe he is like a main character. A main character in there, yeah. You know, um, I think uh, yeah. I mean, about Leon, I think that would be the best way to go about it. You know what I mean? Um, what did he say? Quiet money said there will be a spinoff. But not who I wanted to be about. I don't want to see her trying to lead people away from the road she crashed on. <laughs> you know, so you know, it'll be interesting to see if there's a if there's a spinoff after this. The, the show is too good. I can't see there not being some kind of spinoff from it, to be honest with you. I'm surprised that they're ending it here. You know what I mean? Um or, or maybe they're ending it at the right time because it, you know, it, it, it's as big as it is. It's a really, really good show. And, you know, after so long, a show starts to, doesn't have the same feel, you know what I mean? So maybe and, like, you know, we'll get out now. And I don't know, I don't know how to um say the lead, the lead actor's name, but he's getting roles, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's getting big, right. bigger, um, more opportunities. Now, now it's time for him to go branch out. So to keep the, 
audience, the original audience, you know what I mean? Keep keep the fan base happy. We'll do the spinoff and, 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 you know, get you guys invested in some new characters, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I think, I think it's, uh, it's still a great, great idea. It rather, rather than just letting it die, you, you know what I mean? And be, yeah. um, right, right, right. Instead of just letting it, you know, all of a sudden people aren't watching it and all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Um, and basically, when when you asked why it's ending, an interview with the Hollywood Reporter, uh, they were asked about the reason Snowfall's ending, and um, they said the news may have come as a shock to some, but for him, the guy who created, uh, he knew for a little while that there would just be six seasons. Last spring or winter, when I went to pitch FX about Snowfall season four, uh, I pitched pitched five and six. Uh, we wanted to have an, an end game in mind. Uh, so we sat down and we had some creative conversations with some folks on our side. We decided six seasons would do it. Um, and it was what we needed to finish telling the story. Right. So I, I guess because you know what happens with a lot of series, like you're saying, is they, um, you know, sometimes they fall off and the story's not even finished to- being told. You know what I'm saying? So here they're like, listen, we're going to end it at season, season six. Now you can actually write the story to the end. You know what I mean? Which does make for a better show. Yeah, it's, I, I think, I think uh, a good ending is, is so much better than a, a cliffhanger. Um, even if it's a great show, you know what I mean? Because you, you, you leave an audience hanging. They want it. They, they want you to reboot it, bring it back years later. You know what I mean? But yeah. when you end it and it's definitive, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I always love that. Yeah, no doubt. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's, that's, uh, I think that's it for tonight. You know what I mean? Uh, we'll be back next week. Try to get on a little bit earlier next week. If we can, I don't know what time the Knicks play or anything like that, but we'll try to get on, you know, a little bit earlier so we can get more people in here uh, to talk about the show. You know, we're going to start covering some other shows too. I got to catch up on your honor so that we can cover that. Uh, more, I'm just about done with BMF. We can talk about that. You know what I mean? Uh, and, you know, power. Where are you on Wu-Tang? I think I'm, I got to check. I'm not sure. Power. We got thing. We got power. You know, power's on, so we can we can start getting into that. Matter of fact, that's, thanks for reminding me. I, I I get my new episode. Yeah, yeah, we can start getting into that. As a matter of fact, I might go watch it now. You know what I mean? But anything you like to say before we get out of here about this show that or anything else? Nah, nah. Um, that we got it done. You know what I mean? Maybe we get a a new what you watching. Uh, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. You know, I, I think I think Tuesday would be good because I don't I don't, you know, I just so happened I, I didn't even think about it. it. Was like, oh dang, I gotta be up at such and such place on Tuesday night and and all of this. So, so it, it just became it was hard. But, hey, I know how it is, man. Work in progress. We man, we get no better doubt. as we go. No doubt. But ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate the time. Uh, we're gonna get up out of here. Um, you know, be be on be on the lookout for the next notification, folks. We're gonna try to get it done earlier though, so we, so we can get more people join in. All right, uh, yeah. So uh, we out, ladies and gentlemen. Be peaceful, rest easy, and uh, yeah. I'll talk to you later. Peace. <laughs>